Greetings, fellow detectives, and welcome to Boiler Room Detective. The case of the missing swing joint. After speaking about boilers to a local chapter of APA, one of the attendees, the maintenance director for a local university, pulled me aside and asked me about one of his problem buildings. The building had two six-year-old cast iron sectional steam boilers. One boiler ran well and the other has been a problem since it was installed. It leaked and had to be repaired twice. Now it is down again. I agreed to stop by on my next visit to his town in two weeks. When I arrived at the maintenance department, the director had me go with one of his maintenance staff to see the boiler room. Inside the boiler room, I saw two cast iron sectional boilers I asked to see the boiler's water treatment and combustion reports and saw the readings for both boilers were well within the manufacturer's specified range. Let me show you something weird, he said, leading me to the leaking boiler. The boiler was open for the summer as they were going to repair it. Looking inside the boiler steam chamber, I saw something strange. It looked like pieces of rubber were hanging down. Then I realized there were seals used between the sections. It was almost as if someone or something pulled the sections apart and the gas could pushed out. How did the seals come loose, I wondered. Stepping back, I looked at the near boiler piping and the answer hit me. There was no swing joint on the leaking boiler. A swing joint is used on cast iron sectional boilers because of the different expansion rates between the two metals steel for the pipe and cast iron for the boiler. The metal expansion caused the sections to separate in this case and the steam pressure pushed the gaskets out of place causing the leak. Think of it like a loaf of bread. When you remove the tie for the bread bag the slices fall apart. That is what happened here. How do we fix it? The technician asked snapping me out of my thoughts. You have to repipe the boiler, I said. Really? he asked, and I nodded. You have to repipe the steam piping on this boiler like the other boiler, I said, pointing to the boiler with the swing joint. Then another th thought came to mind. The sections may be damaged from expanding and contracting too far and might not seal properly. I took several pictures of the piping to include in my report. Some boiler manufacturers require thread fittings on the steam piping to help with the expansion. We met with the maintenance director and I shared my preliminary findings. What can I do, the maintenance director asked. I explained that he could try repiping the leaking boiler to include a swing joint, but cautioned him it might not work. The six-year-old boilers had expanded and contracted their entire life and the constant expansion and contraction could damage the sections on the improperly piped boiler. The owner decided to replace the leaking boiler rather than spend all that time and money to repair it. In the end, the owner had a boiler with an estimated lifespan of 20 years fail in a third of that time. If you would like to contact me, my contact information is here. In addition, I have my two websites. The Brewing with Steam site has monthly blog posts on steam systems for breweries and distilleries. I have written 11 books on boilers and they are available on Amazon. In addition, you could find some of my writings in these fine publications. Thanks for stopping by Boiler Room Detective and I hope to see you on the next case.